Yeah, so this is the Wigan Desert Glass um, pendant. So I pulled up um, some of the Wigan Desert Glass samples. So the first thing we do for any of the gemstones is to kind of compare it to some known samples. And so I pulled up some of these, and you can see there's different, Wigan Desert Glass has different colors and shapes, and even different surface textures, like this one's really rough. Um, and then this one's kind of smooth, a little dull. I've seen um, some shiny ones. Um, some with that have lots of inclusions in them. Um, turn the light on, the back light on. Lots of inclusions with them. Some that are dark. So, Wigan the Desert Glass has a lot of different characteristics. Shows a lot of different characteristics. Um, but you can still tell that it's living desert glass um, by looking at it and, and um, understanding the shape and size of it, and, and uh, that it looks uh, quite natural. I don't know that I've seen any fake. Wigan Desert Glass, there might be some out there. Um, but again, this is a, a, a pendant, so we can look at this at the first station. We can't look at it at the next station under specific gravity, but it's kind of interesting. I, I know Sandra doesn't want to know all this stuff, but you know, Wigan Desert Glass <laughs> is actually oh. is actually a spew field that's, or I'm not gonna call it a spew field, a field that's on the border between uh, Libya and Egypt, and it's actually on a fault line. The fault line runs, runs pretty far, and this is a um, an area next to this fault line. And um, I say that because um, the contaminants, the inclusions, and I don't want to call them contaminants, the inclusions in living desert glass are actually pretty interesting. Um, there's a, uh, a bunch of different types of things that that, that um, uh, we found inside of the living desert glass. And, and of course, you know, even the scientists are um, uh, argue about um, the formation of, of living disc glass is it tectite or is it something else? But, um, but, but all that said, um, my go-to um, test for determining to analyzing any gem is specific gravity, and this is a a little complicated scale that allows us to measure specific gravity. You can actually do specific gravity at home. There's a hack to kind of do this. You have a little video on that, don't you? I do. You know, a couple of solo cups and a, and a cheap. Um, scale. scale from Amazon, sure. Um, you know, I, this is a, a more precise piece of equipment because we I do a lot of different types of gemstones. Um, but for living desert glass, you know, you can do this at home. But more importantly, what I wanted to say was that living desert glass, if you measured any of these pieces, you're going to get a specific gravity right around 2.2. Um, that is not where moldavite is, baby. Moldavite's around 3.25. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, 2.35, excuse me, 2.35. This is around 2.2. That doesn't seem like a big difference, but... 2.2 to 2.3? Yeah, it's 2.3. It, it is a big difference, and oh, it's okay. always going to be very, very, very close to 2.2. Now, um, you have some uh, inclusions that may change it just slightly, and some different amounts of, of, of air that can get in trapped there. Um, but living desert glass is actually pretty easy to to measure compared to moldavite because sometimes moldavite gets some air bubbles in so there. doing it a pendant just would screw everything up oh yeah we can't do that the, <laughs> the, the, the density of the wire would, would would change this but we'll do this piece instead so the first thing we do is measure the the, the dry weight what we call the dry weight 7.127 grams and i know you're not interested in this babe and, <laughs> and what we do is we measure the dry weight and we divide it by the dry weight minus what we're going to call it the wet weight so we take this sample and we um, put it in this cradle that is suspended in um, oops, my cradle fell, um, which is suspended in a water above, it's suspended in DI water, excuse me, my, uh, my cradle fell off of there. Um, and uh, we ensure that it's not touching any of the sides, um, it's weighing the, um, just the, the volume, it's actually measuring the volume of that piece of of living to the glass, so it's minus 3.913. So we have the bottom calculation first 7.127. I know you're not interested in <laughs> 3.913. That's okay, you uh, do but, your thing. <laughs> but, but we'll do this so the bottom comes out to be 3.214. And we take the top number divided by the bottom number. Um, so So the specific gravity, again, is 2.217. Stamp it real. <laughs> I, well, you, you know, honestly, that's all I need. 
Um, now, I know you love seeing it under the microscope, especially the, the Moldavite underneath the microscope, uh, because um, it's really interesting. The living desert glass isn't quite as interesting underneath the microscope. The Moldavite has a little bit more um, bubbles and yeah, it looks like an but alien if I was, landscape. If I was, but if I was just looking to see if it was genuine, I would come back to here first. Yeah, um, he usually tests my all, black tourmaline especially. Yeah, and, and the peridot and the, um, all, all those. Microscope. I yeah. know that it's a, looking a little amber over there. That's no, just, I'm not seeing you do this. Do you still do that fluid thing? I, I will. <laughs> 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 that fluid thing. <laughs> that fluid thing. Uh, we'll we'll do that. So, but let's first take a look at the surface. Let me get it focused in here. I have. Um, is that focused? Not really. Not really. There no. we go. There get, you go. Getting closer. Okay. I've tried playing with this thing, and I can't get it to. I end up zooming in and out of focus. So you can much. you can see some some different air bubbles in here. Let's go look around a little bit, um, because I can find some inclusions here and here. I thought I saw something interesting There's, a little bit ago. Something there. I don't know. I just. What are those something. boxes? Can you get? I can. Can you get rid of the something? boxes? Um, I might be able to get rid of the boxes. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, one down. I'm getting there, babe. There oh, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so, and then these white lights are just artifacts from some reflections that are going on. There's some cool stuff up there. Hold on, just give me a second, babe. Let's I know, but... I, when you hand it to me, so there's some inclusions here, but hold on a second. Let's, let me just relax. Don't move your camera too much. You know, but there's some cool stuff I wanted to... Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to survey the whole surface here real quick. I'm just doing this very quickly. Um, I thought I might have oh, saw some... The surface some, looks smooth, and certainly it's not. I thought I might have saw some, um, some ribbons when you first handed it to me, but I don't see that right now. I'll have to, I'll have to do, just jump in a little deeper. Okay, so let's go down in there. Um, let's go a little closer to the surface. Um, and let me find... When you first handed this to me, I was looking at it, I thought I saw some ribbons to the side here. I thought they were microscopic. Um, yeah, but you could still see, especially in living desert glass. I'm talking, I'm not talking about the same uh, uh, ions that you see in, in much more. Electo, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, those are silicone-based ribbons. This is a little different. Um, searching for it. They are kind of corner, and because of your, I don't want to damage your wire at all. Yeah, please. But because of that, I can't kind that of get. That one turned out really nice. I can't get the the specimen okay. up into the corner there. All right, I know it's you're getting bored. It's still pretty cool. I know you're getting bored. Hold on, well, let's okay. let's wash out the surface texture. Yeah, we're gonna get into a Netflix video style soon. <laughs> okay, that's the fluid stuff, right? Mm -hmm. This is a sorry. This is. Um, uh, a refractive index fluid, a fluid that matches the refractive index of... Thank you, thank of, um, Huh, look so, at all those bubbles. Yeah, so these here, before. these here that are floating, you get rid of those. Those are, those are just artifacts. Oh, okay. Um, but now you can, we can start going down inside of this and seeing inside and... So these are little tiny things, that's just the fluid on the surface. That one's captured, these are captured deep inside of the living desert glass. Um, and there's all sorts of, of um, inclusions in this, which is really kind of cool. Um, yeah, you really don't see this, so, but there's bubbles, huh? Oh, sure. And there's, I was looking for- That's the wire on the ends. Yeah, I see that. No, I meant, I was I telling people. Oops, oh. sorry. So this is classic structure of a lot smoother than uh, moldavite. It is, it, and and well, you're used to working with moldavite that has that hasn't been polished. I think a lot of the the living desert glass has been not. I don't want to say polished, but it's been beaten up by the sand, right? Sand, yeah. Right. Um, but the, but and also uh, moldavite doesn't have all these types of inclusions inside of it. And you can see the tiny tiny bubbles inside of this. 
and the inclusions everywhere. Um, I'm gonna go a little deeper, and then yeah, I know I'm talking. Too, I talk too I much. I gave him the cutthroat thing, and it's like it's getting too long. Look at that! Ooh, look at that! Yeah. I mean, all right, he's always, it's always worth it. I, I look, look at that thing right there. Right there, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a, reminds me of my bracelet pattern. Right here. Yeah, a little bit. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Alrighty, dear. Okay, <laughs> I'll give you your pendant back. Miss Sandra will clean this up for you. Right here, uh, I know she always writes a note about where she created it. And, um, uh, yeah, I gotta clean all that stuff off. Soap and water. <laughs>